Look at nice thing. Look at nice thing. You don't need much to sell angling because uh, angling and all that is encoded in a human being's blood mm -hmm. to hunt, to go and catch fish is encoded. That's how mm -hmm. primitive man has evolved. Okay, so they just need a little bit of inspiration. That's what they need. They don't need anything else. From my age, doctors, I have lots of doctors friends as anglers. Uh -huh. I have IAS officers, police officers, uh -huh. IT students. Uh -huh. In Sinifield also. They're, everybody is interested in angling. When they come, they'll start angling. Uh -huh. they, they, they feel claustrophobic in the city, no? <laughs> this is more open. Uh -huh. I feel claustrophobic when I go back to the city. No? <laughs> my own home. My I have a tackle shop. Sorry, I couldn't take you there. Puma gets a rod from me. I'll teach them how to use the rod. I I don't just sell the rod. Okay. It is not if I sell the rod and next time it doesn't know the fish, will not come back. Yeah. So I have to teach them how to use the rod, how to use the reel, how to wind the line. So everything. We'll teach them and I'll, I'll make sure that Sunday, if he gets a rod from me on Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, mm -hmm. I'll make sure you, you, you'll come to the Thirupur game on Sunday. Mm -hmm. And we'll teach them everything from how to handle a rod, reel, how to cast a line, mm -hmm. how to hook a fish, how to land it, how to take a picture with it, and how to release it. So basically, it's a catch and release, see and add it. Uh, Every place we practice them to do that. That's a sport. You take it, then it becomes commercial. Yeah, it's a village park. It was more like a, not a workshop with the government. It was a test of where we can, a village can uh, get a certain amount of revenue from their own village fund. Because they wash clothes in there, they have a bath in there. Mm -hmm. uh, for recreation they come from anywhere. So that's all they use it for now. Mm -hmm. But once you start using fish and the village starts making money, mm -hmm. that's about nearly five to six lakhs a month for I mean a year for the village. Mm -hmm. Five to six lakhs a year, that's quite a decent amount. Mm -hmm. Instead of just keeping a pond like that and ruining it and mm -hmm. spoiling it, throwing paper into it. You know how yeah. you fill the people. It's growing like anything. In the past one and a half years, I have my shop there for two years. Mm -hmm. But the past six months Usually they'd be walking in only on Saturdays, mm -hmm. Sundays or Friday, late evening in the Fridays. Mm -hmm. But now there is a walk-in every day, four or five walk-ins every day. Very, very big. It's growing at a rapid, rapid pace, super rapid pace. The first thing is Chennai will become number one because it's got a great coastline and it has great anglers over here. Mm -hmm. So we have anglers from uh, five years to oh. <laughs> Lady anglers also we have, and we have anglers of eight years also who participate in the competition. <laughs> that is started as of now in Chennai. The last competition was on July 25th, and the next one is coming on September 18th. September 18th. September 18th on the shores, beach fishing, okay. and another one is going to be conducted December 26th. Okay. So we have a regular competition now in Chennai.